So now I'm doing the same sort of thing. I'm doing a glaze as I did here when I put on the darker shades for these trees. I'm doing a similar thing here, but obviously I'm using a different brush. It's a slightly different technique. Um, so I've got a fan brush. Now this would have originally looked like, although this has got paint on it, would originally have looked like that. It's just been worn down. And I'm just pushing and then dragging down a little bit. So I've been quite sort of rough with it, not being gentle at all. So now I'm going to put in the highlights using the same brush that I've just put the low lights in. And you just want sort of especially under these trees here, you just want subtle subtle colors. You don't want anything too strong. It's a lot softer the the foreground area than the bit under the trees there. Well, in fact, the trees in general, there's less, less contrast in it. So actually, it should be a little bit easier to paint. It's almost all less detail, really. Now, when I did the the uh, glaze here, the darker glaze, I was pushing the brush on and then pulling down a bit to give you the, you know, the sort of look of grass. But with this bit, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of just use the edge and just, you know, put the uh, brush against the canvas like that, or the panel, the canvas, the panel. Sorry. I'm going to tackle this in a slightly different way. I'm not going to make it exactly the same as the photograph. Um, I'm going to leave some of the leaves out in the path 
just so that you get that you know, more of an obvious sort of through route, um, leads your eye into the picture a bit better. Uh, and I'm kind of going to speed it up a bit. It's taking an awful long time to do it, so I'm going to try and do this. It's going to look good, but it's going to be done that little bit quicker. I've had enough. Basically, I'm going to use more of this fan brush here and try and get it to sort of look. I think from a distance it will still look good, but maybe close up it's not going to be quite as polished. So just trying to get on those darker areas here, obviously where the, you've got the leaves laying on the ground, you've got a lot of darker shading and of course darker leaves as well. So let's put those in. I'm just using this manky old fan brush. Working on these leaves that we've got here on the ground, it's not dissimilar from working with the trees, but it's a little bit less structured in a way in that you don't really, well, you can't guarantee the shape of the actual leaf because I'm using a, a brush that is going to be a little bit more unpredictable. I think that's okay when the leaves are on the ground here because, you know, they might be sitting at different angles and it really doesn't matter too much. but. It's a very good way of doing it, um, and it's one I use quite a lot. The only thing with it is, is you do get a much more of a stipply effect. And if you're okay with that in your pictures, then it is a, definitely a worthwhile way of putting dead leaves down on the grass. So now I'm just, although there are still more leaves to put down on the grass and more detail in general, I'm going to put in just some sort of hints of details in the grass here. I'm using the, using the uh, palette knife to load the paint up. Really, really thick, so you can see the amount that is on there. Maybe that's a bit too much, but I'm just gives you that little detail. We 
are slowly getting there, which is great. So, a few more leaves. I've got to sort out this blob here. Um, and I'm going to cover over this branch here because it just stands out a bit too much. But apart from that, um, we are good to go. 